Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this wonderful morning. It's the beginning of the week and we're excited to face whatever is ahead of us by the grace of God. I'm encouraged this morning because I know something is God is doing something extraordinary for us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray and then we'll listen to the voice of the Lord. Father, we thank you and we bless you this morning. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a powerful God. And so we dedicate this session in your hands and moving forward in the day and the week. We dedicate our lives in your hands because we know that which you have begun in our lives, you'll be faithful to complete it. This morning we appear in your presence once again and we ask father for your grace we ask for revelation and we ask that lord your touch will be upon our lives in the mighty name of jesus have your way be lifted and be honored in jesus name amen i want to speak about a subject i am bouncing back i am bouncing back and so are you bouncing back i read the bible in the book of luke chapter number five from verse number 4 to 11, and I'm reading from the message translation of the Bible. Luke chapter number 5, we are reading from verse number 4 through to verse number, uh, uh, actually verse from verse number 4, then we go to verse number 11. Let's look at it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. What a privilege, what an opportunity in the mighty name of the Lord. We glorify God because he's amazing, he's wonderful, he's powerful, he's an all-knowing God. He's a, I don't know what position you are in right now, but I want to tell you, I want to declare in your life this morning that the Lord is doing something extraordinary, something great, something powerful in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just giving you time so you can be able to get that scripture if you can, so we can read. Hallelujah. When he finished teaching, he said to Simon, catch. Simon said, Master, we have been fishing for the nets. It was no sooner said than done. A huge howl of fish straining the net past capacity. They waved their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They filled both boats, nearly swamping them with the catch. Simon Peter, when he saw it, he fell to his knees before Jesus. Master, leave. I am a sinner and can't handle this holiness. Leave me to myself. I am a sinner and can't handle this holiness. Leave me to myself. When they pulled in that catch of fish, how overwhelmed Simon and everyone with him. It was the same with James and John, Zebedee's sons, co-workers with Simon. Jesus said to Simon, there is nothing to fear. From now on, you'll be fishing for men and women. They pulled their boats up to the beach, left them, nets and all, and followed him. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm talking about I am bouncing back, and so are you bouncing back. Sometimes when we begin certain things in our lives, we desire to be at a specific place at a specific time. But sometimes things do not go all the way, all the same, all the time. Sometimes we start with an intention to complete, but along the way something happens and so we either delay or do not even arrive at the place that we desired or purpose to do. We are not alone. We can see in this particular scripture that the disciple had been fishing all day, all night, all night actually. And because it was the custom to fish in the night, Simon said, Master, we have been fishing hard all night and haven't gotten even amino. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to understand that sometimes we put in all our energies, we put in all our expertise, we put in all our knowledge, and we can toil for a long period of time and we do not achieve the intent. You could be working so hard, but you bring home so little. You could be doing everything that you have to do, trying all your best, but sometimes we don't bring up or bring back the results that we desire to do. You are not alone. Praise the name of the Lord. You are not alone. And so the Bible tells us that Jesus 
told Simon to cast the nets into the deep again. Praise the name of the Lord. It was in full understanding that they had been toiling out all the night. Praise the name of the Lord. It is clear that they had been toiling. If you will make a comeback in your life, you got to be listening properly. You got to be listening to the voice of the Lord. You, he said, when he stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. We're talking about Luke chapter number 5 from verse number 4. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a cut. But Simon answered and said, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, your word, I will let down the net. If you're going to make a comeback, if you're going to make a bounce back, you got to be listening to the instruction of God Almighty. We are not those people who are going to get tired of the thing that God has said he would do. No, we are not going to give up on God's promise. We're not going to give up on God's word. What God has said in your life is going to happen no matter what. Praise the Lord. We are people. In fact, I want you to understand. The Bible tells us when the children of Israel were in Egypt, the Bible tells us the more they were oppressed, the more they prospered. Sometimes it is not about the pressure you receive in your way. It's about who covers your back. It's about who is Covering you is about who is pushing you into the results that God intends in your life. If God is backing you up, you are a person who is going to make a comeback. I don't know what has been stolen from you over this period. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what challenge that you bear. I don't know what is it that is not working out. But I want to tell you, you are making a comeback. Praise the Lord. I watched a movie one day about an actor, it's an action movie, and somebody left a restaurant. He was being he was seeking access to get into the restaurant and he was not allowed. Then he went back and said, I'll be right back. And he came back with a big a vehicle, you know, an animal of a vehicle, and just went through the barriers. I want to tell you that in the same way, we are making a bounce back. Hallelujah. Anybody who felt that you've been written off is going to be surprised. The enemy is going to be surprised because you are making a comeback in the name of Jesus. Bible tells us if the enemy had known, he would not have crucified the Lord of glory. I want you to understand and I want you to know that we are making a bounce back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Begun to sink. Hallelujah. There is an intervention that God is bringing your way. God is bringing my way as we make our comeback, as we make our, when we bounce back into the place that God wants us to be. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this is the truth of the word of God. We are bouncing back. You are bouncing back. The ears, the caterpillar and the canker worm have stolen. The Lord is restoring a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. God is restoring you. God is restoring me. God is restoring us. We are bouncing back. Your family is bouncing back. Your job is bouncing back. Your ministry is bouncing back in the name of Jesus Christ. That which you purpose to do. Yo, you're bouncing back to your position, to the place that God wants you to be in the name of Jesus because the enemy is defeated. The devil is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. I am bouncing back. In the year 2023, we are bouncing back in the name of the Lord. The things you put your heart to do in the previous years and they've not been working. Now we are bouncing back. Ministries are bouncing back. Oh, hallelujah. People are bouncing back in the kingdom. People are standing again in the things of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you because of your word and your encouragement. We are bouncing back. Ministries are bouncing back. Marriages are bouncing back. Oh God, places of work, professionalism is bouncing back. Business is bouncing back in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless you and I honor you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. This has been your host and your servant, Pastor Johnston Sakwa. Bouncing back, coming to you live on the scripture prescription, your daily morning dose of the word 
of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shalom. The good Lord bless you and the good Lord be with you. Amen and amen.